Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a geotechnical slash site development problem. Uh, we're going to be talking about the slope and shield configurations in the PE manual. Uh, so here's what the question says. A contractor must excavate for a 28-foot spread footing according to OSHA slope and shield configurations. The carpenters have requested a minimum of 3 feet of standoff distance to allow for proper formwork. The depth of the footing is 12 foot below the ground surface. One side of the footing is tight B soles as deep as 5 feet from the ground surface. The remaining is type C soles. The other side of the footing contains type B soles for three feet below the ground surface with the remainder being type C. Uh, the minimum total width of the excavation is most nearly what? Okay, uh, we see our four options that are available to us in feet. And so whenever we're looking for a page number for this guy, we're gonna be looking in the PE manual. Uh, on page 158, we'll see some diagrams there for the different types of soil and the different uh, slopes. And also take a look at page uh, 157 where it talks about layered geological strata. That's going to apply to us in this situation. And, uh, and ultimately we need to remember that moving forward through this problem. But I think the first step to this problem is drawing a picture. Understanding what it's going to look like and basically what some of this terminology is. Uh, and what it means. So I'm going to draw my little uh, sketch of a spread footing and then this is going to be below the ground. So here's our uh, ground surface here and we know that the footing is, let's see, 12 feet in depth um, and then we see that we have two different types of soles. I'm going to say on the left left side we're going to go with that 3 and 9. So right here we have uh, 3 feet of type B so this is three feet and then the rest is going to be type C. And so whenever we subtract 12 minus three, you end up with nine feet. So this is what this guy is going to be is nine feet. Uh, on the other side, we're going to have something similar. We're going to have type B again on the top, but this is actually five feet of type B. And then the rest is going to be um, that type C, which is going to be seven feet. So that's kind of a sketch of what we're looking at. Something worth noting is any soil type over a lower soil type requires the cutback for the lower soil type. Whenever you're looking on that page, that 158, you're going to see that type B requires a slope of a one-to-one -one slope or less, obviously, and then type C requires a 1.5 to 1. Okay, and, uh, and we need to use the type C. As you can imagine, your 1 to 1 is going to be like a 45 degree angle, whereas your 1 to 3 or 1 and a half to 1 is going to be a little less steep. Let's draw a, another picture. I'm going to draw the existing ground here. And then we're going to show our slopes now. So we have our slopes and then we have a standoff distance and we have our spread footing. So it's going to look something like this. And then we have our standoff distance and then we go up again and there's our ground. So there's your ground. Same thing over here. And uh, basically, these guys are going to be at a 1.5 to 1 slope. And then we have 3 feet right here. And then we have our spread footing, which is 28 foot as given in the problem. And we have another 3 feet of standoff distance. And boom. And so, uh, okay, so let's find the total depth here. Well, we know it's 12 feet, uh, and we know we're going to be at a constant of 1.5 to 1 slope. So by using this, we can go ahead and do a trick. We're going to go 1.5 over 1. So we have uh, run over rise in this case, right? Let's multiply it by a rise, which is 12 feet, and that's going to give you a run of 18 feet. So what we just did is we solved for this triangle. So if we have uh, a slope of 
to 1. What is this distance? That's what we saw it for. Because we know this, this is 12 feet right here. And we just solved for this guy. So that means that the distance from here to here is 18 feet. Same thing over here. So let's add them all together. Let me scroll down a little bit here. So hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses on civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you're not enrolled, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your FE and PE exams the first time. So with that said, let's go ahead and add all these guys up. So we have uh, 18 feet plus our 3 feet of standoff distance plus our uh, spread footing, which is 28 feet. Let me rewrite that 8 real quick. Plus our 3 feet of standoff distance plus our 18 feet of, uh, of slope. And so when we add all that up, you should end up with 70 feet. When you're practicing for this one, I, I recommend swapping out your soles, your sole types, practicing your slopes, uh, whether you have a, a better soil on top or on bottom. But just remember, any soil type over a lower soil type requires the cutback for the lower soil type. Um, so that's a good trick that you need to remember. The trick to this problem was just knowing what kind of terminology we're dealing with. Um, and so the answer is going to be D. 70. So I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.